All right, so now we're continuing with another topic in consumer arithmetic. And this topic is wages. All right, so let's begin. How much will Donald earn if he earns $11.90 per hour? This slash means per hour. $11.90 per hour and works 35 hours for a week. Pretty straightforward. All right, so if he earns $11.90 per hour and he works 35 hours a week, all we do is multiply his, hour, his hourly wage by 35 and that gives us the total salary. In this case, it's going to be 11.9 times 35 which will be $416.50. All right. So that will be Donald's salary for the week after working 35 hours. Find the annual salary for a person who is paid $528.50. Per week, fourteen hundred and twenty-nine dollars per fortnight, and two thousand eight hundred per month. All right. So they want the annual salary, and that person earns five hundred and twenty-eight dollars and fifty cents per week. So we know that there are fifty-two weeks in a year. In a year. All right. And what is a fortnight? A fortnight is two weeks. So if there are 52 weeks in a year and a fortnight is two weeks, how many fortnights are in a year? If there are 52 weeks in a year and one fortnight is two weeks, how many fortnights are there in a year? All right. There are 26 fortnights in a year. All right, so 26 fortnight in a year. And of course, you know, there, there's 12 months in a year. All right, so we need to get this basic numerical figures out of the way. So there's 52 weeks in a year. And if the person gets paid $528.50 per week, his annual salary will be 52 of these because there are 52 weeks in a year. So let's get to our calculator. So if he gets paid $528.50 for the week, we multiply that by 52 to get his annual salary. All right. And then we say 528.5 times 52 is equal to so his annual salary is 27,482 that's his annual salary if he gets paid 528.5 per week now let's go to this fortnight pay if there are 26 fortnights in a year and he gets paid 1429 per fortnight his annual salary will most definitely be four fourteen twenty nine multiplied by twenty six, which is gonna be fourteen twenty nine times twenty six equal thirty seven thousand one hundred and fifty four. All right, a fortnight is something that is commonly used throughout the world. Most places pay you per fortnight. I'm a college student. I'm actually doing my PhD in economics and I got a stipend every fortnight, which is every two weeks. All right. So it's a standard worldwide. Most places pay you fortnight or monthly. You really get paid weekly unless it's a kind of roast kind of job or a gig. All right. And lastly, we have our monthly salary so if the person gets paid 2800 per month and there's 12 months in a year his annual salary will be 28 times 12 
33,600 per month. I mean, for the year. All right. So I hope you understand the difference between a weekly salary, fortnightly salary, and a monthly salary, and how we aggregate it to annual salary based on the time periods, weeks, fortnight, and months. All right. Next example. If the hourly rate of nursing is $12 and overtime is time and a half, what is the week's salary for the nurse after a 56 work hour? All right. So there's a bit of explaining to do. A worker, based on labor laws worldwide in most countries, a work week is considered to be 40 hours. A work week is considered to be 40 hours. Anything beyond that 40 hours is considered overtime. So even though there is nothing stated about this 40 week, 40 hours in the question, we know inherently that this is a thing. Okay? So this is known worldwide. Unless stated otherwise. Unless the question states that a work week is 35 hours or 50 hours, we must assume that a, we must assume that a work week is 40 hours. The average work week is 40 hours. And anything beyond that is overtime. Okay? They went on and mentioned that overtime is time and a half. What time and a half means is that if you get paid $10 per hour for the working within your regular hours, within the 40 hours per week, if you work $10 per hour, when you venture into overtime, your overtime rate will be the $10 plus half, which is $15. So any amount of hours you work above 40 will be billed at $15 per hour. I hope you get that concept with overtime and time and a half. Let's tie in what we have here. So a nurse is paid $12 per hour. All right? $12 per hour. And she works 56 hours. All right? So we know that there's a 40-hour work week. And she went ahead and worked 16 hours beyond the 40 hour work week because the 56 minus 40 is 16 so th this is a 40 hour work week at, at which she will be paid 12 dollars and then there is this amount of overtime that she did that she will be billed at what time and a half so the time and a half is going to be 12 dollars plus half of 12 dollars all right so you must pay persons more when they work overtime in most cases so the $12 plus half of $12, which will be $18. So the 16 hours will be billed at $18 per hour. All right. And now we will find the overtime rate. So we're going to multiply this 40 hours by the 12 and get, I think, 480. 480. All right. And then we're going to bill this 16 hours by 18. 16 by 18 and get 288 all right so her so the total salary for the nurse will be this plus 480 which is gonna be 768 dollars all right yeah so that's how you handle overtime there's a certain amount that is billed at the regular hourly rate and then anything beyond it is billed at the overtime rate, which is time and a half, which is the hourly, rate, the hourly rate plus half of it. Time and a half. That's what it means, all right? All right, so that's J2T. I'll see you for some more examples in the upcoming videos. Thank you.